What's up Airsofters, this is Cruz, and I'd like to talk about the YNP Mark 23 SOCOM, also called the Stealth Assassin, according to the manual. So this is what I'm using as my secondary weapon or sidearm. It is a gas non-blowback pistol and it is uh, full plastic except for some of the metal components on the inside. You can pick this gun up for somewhere between $40 to $50 depending on where you're shopping online and spare magazines for it are $18 to $25 depending on where you're shopping. So in the box you get the pistol, a mock suppressor barrel extension attachment and a single magazine and some crappy BBs which I recommend you throw away pretty much immediately. So let's open this up and see what we've got going on in here. The first thing is a Stealth Assassin manual and this is a pretty straightforward manual. It talks about how to pull the trigger, how to load the BBs and there's a little parts list in case you open it up completely and wonder if you're missing anything. I don't recommend completely disassembling this airsoft gun and I'm going to show you how to take this apart and maintain it after a dirty day in the field. So I've painted mine a two-tone green. I'm a fan of OD green. Normally this gun just comes straight black except the tip here on the slide is going to be that uh, bright orange um, as it's supposed to. This is the threaded barrel right here where you can attach the mock suppressor. So this gun is pretty much all plastic on the outside except for some metal components like the hammer here which is double action but you can pull back for a single action which I do recommend in the field. The trigger itself is metal and the magazine is most of the weight. This is all metal in here except for the plastic piece that pushes the BBs up into the chamber. Uh, so this magazine is supposed to hold about 28 rounds. I only seat 25 in there so I don't stress out the spring. And also that's an easier number to remember when I'm out working in the field. This has an ambidextrous magazine release on either side of the pistol. You can release that which is good for lefties or righties. There, there is a ambidextrous safety on here which cannot be engaged unless the hammer is pulled all the way back. You've got it on the left side and also on the right side. So when I've got this holstered, personally I put the safety on, so I pull it out and I click that safety off and then I'm ready to shoot. It is easier to pull the trigger in single action as opposed to double action. Being that it is a non-blowback, every time you pull that trigger there's a lot of mechanics happening on the inside. You are pulling back the hammer, a BB is going up into the chamber, and then when you pull the trigger a hammer inside the gun releases an amount of gas that propels the BB forward. So moving forward, um, this gun comes with the approximately 8 inch uh, barrel extension mock suppressor, the tip of which is also orange, although I spray painted mine. This is all plastic on the outside. It's got a nice shiny aluminum barrel on the inside and although it looks really cool, I actually find that it detracts from accuracy to the point that I don't even use it when I'm in the field. It's kind of cumbersome and it really puts a lot of spin on the shot. Uh, the gun itself is surprisingly accurate, especially for the price range. So the suppressor on there looks totally awesome and it actually helps to balance out the weapon. You can see the sights just fine with the suppressor on there, but again, I don't use that in the field, so mine has never really left this box here. So as you can see, the gun itself is a, a large frame uh, automatic pistol shape. It is about nine and a half inches in length, and it's about five and a half inches tall uh, from the bottom of the pistol grip up to the top of the slide. Uh, so this is a large pistol. If you have hands smaller than mine, you're going to have a difficult time as mine are really just large enough to be able to get a good grip on this gun here. So let's move forward and I'll show you how to disassemble this weapon, clean it and maintain it so that you can enjoy using the YNP SOCOM Mark 23. So the types of items that you'll need to clean and maintain 
your YNP SOCOM Mark 23 are pretty much identical to anything you'll need to clean just about any other airsoft gun, especially a gas blowback. First of all, I always recommend using a nice clean white towel as your work surface on a table anytime you're going to clean and disassemble an airsoft gun. It's uh, just a great easy way to make sure that all the parts stay put where they are. There's no way for them to roll or bounce off. Also, it makes everything very easy to see. So, of course, we've got our Mark 23 right here. As always, we have a rag. We've got some silicone spray oil. And we have a pistol cleaning rod. We've got a uh, cotton patch holder for the rod and we've got our cotton patches. The scissors are to cut the patches in half as they are too large to fit through the barrel as they are. And some paper towels and q-tips are always good just for cleaning out extra residue or you know stuff that's caught in the little crevices of the gun. So let's start opening this thing up. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that I have recently cleaned mine, so you will not see any dirt or any kind of junk on here, but you can get a, a pretty good look at the gun just as I rotate it and see all the parts it's made out of. This is also a safety right here that you can click on or off, and this one does not necessitate the hammer being pulled back. But I stay away from this because that's out of reach and kind of difficult as opposed to this one right here. So. First, we'll just release the magazine. We can set this aside for now. And the first step to disassembling it, there's a little notch right in here. And what we want to do is we want to pull out this safety component. So we need to push it from this side on this dot right here. And we're going to do this using our pistol cleaning rod. So first, I'm going to just slide this so that this crevice in the slide lines up with the very top of this safety and then I can just take this part and push through and you will see that that pops straight on out. So that's quite simple to remove. Now to pull the slide off all you do is you slide it forward and pick it up and off and that's very easy to disassemble. So from here this part itself will not need any other kind of disassembly. And you can see all of the mechanics on how the trigger works in here, all of the metal parts that are in there pushing components around. And I'll talk about cleaning that a little bit more in just a moment. So to further disassemble this, there's really not too, too much else to do. And this is where you've got to kind of start being careful, is we want to be able to take this barrel assembly out right here. So all we do for that is we push this forward and lift up slightly and you'll see that we can disengage this from the inside right there. So then we're left at this point with our slide and our barrel and hop-up unit. So um, this stuff I all keep pretty well lubed up with silicone. This is all metal parts in here and they're not moving around but I just want to make sure that they're not going to rust. I can't attest to the quality of these components in here so I just do my best to keep them maintained. So the last part that I will remove is this little uh, spring-loaded piece right here and to do that all you want to do is gently rock it off on both sides and then this piece will come off as well. And you'll notice that in there is a very tiny little spring right here that of course you do not want to lose. So when I'm cleaning this thing, I pull that off and I set this down inside of that little plastic piece right here. And you can see that there's an angle on the top to it. So this is forward. The downslope faces forward on the pistol. So I'll set this down here and just put this, this little spring in there. And now we're left with the uh, hop-up unit and just the barrel. So you can see that your hop-up is adjustable right here via this little wheel. And it says hop up. And it's got a convenient little marking on that wheel. So this is very easy to change the hop-up. The only downside is in order to access this, you have to remove the slide from the frame. You don't have to go through all of these disassembly steps just to adjust the hop-up. Um, I'm just taking you through the whole thing. So you can take a look down through that barrel and it's just any other old airsoft barrel, nothing special about it. But uh, let's get to cleaning these components. So you want to take one of your patches 
or a couple of patches here and just cut them right in half like so. And then take them one at a time and you want to put these onto the pistol swabbing uh, mechanism, this little adapter right here that holds the, the swab. So all you do is pass this through and pull it straight so you've got a nice little bow tie looking thing. And I take it and I rotate it like this so that I wrap it around the barrel or around the post. And then what you can do after you get that around there is just push that through the barrel and it'll come out the other side. And basically you want to pull these in and out until it's clean, just like a real firearm. And that's it. So now you've got a nice clean barrel and you want to hold that up to the light and take a look through there and make sure that there, that there isn't any kind of junk in there. So that barrel is looking good to me. So next, you can take your rag and any kind of debris that you may have on there. Go ahead and wipe that off and leave your hop up right where you have it set. And then take your silicone spray and just go ahead and spread a little bit around on there. And you also want to put some on this spring. And then that guy is good to go. So we could just set that aside. Next, uh, you might want to do the same thing for this component here. Just go ahead and wipe off any excess dirt or residue, any kind of junk you've got on there.